Crafty family and welcome to another tutorial by She's So Crafty. For today's DIY project, we'll be creating five lemon themed DIY projects for your home. Now the Dollar Tree has some really cute lemon dishes and other lemon decor that is perfect for summer and I was inspired to create a few simple items to go with my lemon themed space. Now for your convenience, I provided a list of supplies and tools used to make these projects in the description box below. Now I'm very excited to share this tutorial with you, but before we start, I wanted to say hello and welcome back to my fantastic subscribers and visitors to my channel. Now if you are a new visitor to my channel today and love to create fun and easy DIY projects on a budget, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and also click that notification bell so you will be the first to know when a new DIY tutorial is ready to share with you. So now let's jump right into these projects. Now the first project will be a three-tiered lemon tray. Now for this project, we'll need one of these large lemon plates and we'll need two saucers. We'll also need two glass candle holders. And as an option, I'm using these wood finials I picked up from the thrift store. Now we're gonna start by taking the wood finial pieces and I am gonna be adhering them together with wood glue. Now you could use any topper that you want or none at all if you choose. And then we can grab our plates and we're going to go ahead and clean them well with alcohol. Um, we also want to do this for the candle holders as well. And then place the plates to the side and we're going to prepare to paint those candle holders. Now I will be using this white chalk paint for these. Now you want to apply two coats of the chalk paint, being sure to let them dry completely in between the coats. You also want to paint that finial white as well. And here is everything completely dry. And now I'm going to lightly sand around the bottom and top edges to remove any paint and dull the glass a bit so it adhere better. Now to protect the paint, I will be using this Satin Mod Podge. Now I'm going to apply one coat to the candle holders and finial and I want to let them dry completely. And now that they're all dry, we can adhere them to the plates. Now the first candle holder will be applied with the wide side down. Now for a permanent bond, use E6000 and then back that up with a high temp hot glue. We wanna first apply the E6000 around that rim and then pay, place a bead of that hot glue on as well. And then center your piece and press it gently into place. And then you're gonna apply your glue combo to the top of that candle holder. And then center a saucer right on top. And then take your second candle holder and we wanna apply that glue combo to that small end of the candle holder. and place it in the center of that saucer. And then we're gonna do a glue combo on top of that wide end, and then we're going to add our last saucer on top of that. And then we're gonna to top it all off with the finial with adding that glue combo and we're gonna place it right in the center on the top. And then we just let it dry completely before using. 
And here is the completed project. Now, how sweet is this tray for your table? Now, I've added a few simple items from my stash to decorate the tray, and it just really elevates this piece to a different level. And there are so many ways that you can style this piece, and you can use any kind of plate design that you like. Now, this super easy tray is easy to make, and I hope you have fun making yours too. Now the second and third projects are lemon wall and table decor. Now for the first piece, I will be using this lemon cardstock printable and this 8x10 photo frame. And the other piece, I'll be using this cardstock printable and a piece of scrap wood cut to fit the printout. Now we're going to start by removing the packaging and contents of that frame. And then we're going to take our cardstock printable and center it on the glass since it's a little smaller than the frame. And once it is centered, take some scotch tape and we're going to secure it into place. Now I'm going to quickly flip it over, make sure everything is centered, and then replace all the inserts as shown here. And there you go, super simple. Now on to the next one. Now for the truck, we're gonna trim the edges of that cardstock printout first. Now to adhere the image, I will be using the Smod Podge. Now I'm going to apply a coat to the top of that wood. And then I'm going to apply the image on top. And once that's nice and secure into place, I'm going to apply a coat of Mod Podge over the top of the image. And now that that's dry, I'm going to stain the sides and the back of the wood. Now I will be using this light color by Ace. I will put the name of it in the description box below. Then I'm gonna apply one coat to the back and the sides and I'm gonna let it dry completely. And here are both pieces ready to display. I think they look simply adorable. Now I love how these feature the lemons that match the plates and feature that worn, rustic farmhouse look. And you can hang one and then place the other on a table and you can add it to your lemon display. Now project number four is a pedestal tray. Now for this project, we'll need one margarita glass. We'll also need one saucer or salad plate, and I'm gonna use this white one from the thrift store. And then we're going to paint. So we're going to remove any stickers, and then I'll be using this white chalk paint for these pieces. Now I'm gonna apply two coats, letting them dry completely in between the coats. Now my plate is an off-white color, so I'm gonna paint that as well so it matches my glass. Now once they're both dry, I'm gonna apply a coat of Mod Podge over the paint and seal and protect it. And once it's all dry, I'm just gonna lightly sand the bottom of the glass to prepare it for adhesion. 
Now I want to apply the E6000 around the bottom of the glass. And then I'm going to follow up with some high temperature hot glue. And then I'm going to apply that glass to the bottom of the white saucer, being sure that it's nice and centered. And once that glue sets, I'm going to get ready for the next step. Now I'm going to top my tray with these lemons that I got from Amazon and these leaves that I got off some Dollar Tree roses. I just added a simple buffalo check bow and here is the completed display. Now I really love the display and you could add anything that you like to match your decor. Now I really think this is just simple and sweet and will look great when added to your tablescape. Now project number five is a lemon container set. Now for this project, we'll need this three piece container set and we'll also need some of this thick jute twine that I picked up from Walmart and also a couple of lemons. Now the first thing I'm going to do is to cut two of the lemons in half. Now this is fairly easy to do with a sharp kitchen knife. And then back to the containers, I'm going to remove all of those labels. And once they're taken apart, I'm going to remove those handles. Now you can do this with a good pair of scissors. So next I'm going to be taping off the bottom of the containers with painter's tape. And now we can grab our protective paper and I will be using this pavement gray acrylic paint for the bottom. And I'm going to apply two coats of this paint, letting them dry in between coats. And next I will be using this silver paint for a dabbing technique. Now I will be using the cosmetic sponges to do this. So I want to start applying the paint in a random pattern on the container. Then I want to repeat this on all the containers and let them dry. And when they are dry, I'm just going to seal them in with a layer of Mod Podge. And once that Mod Podge is nice and dry, we can carefully start to remove that painter's tape. And here are all the containers with the protective finish. So now I'm going to take my jute twine and I'm gonna add that to the container. So I'm going to be starting with a bead of hot glue and I'm going to start to wrap the jute twine right above where the paint starts. Now I'll be wrapping this around the container about four times. And now that they're all done, we can add our lemons. Now I will be adding one lemon to the front of each container. Now I also wanted to add a leaf from a rose stem, but I cut it apart for each lemon. Now 
And now you just kind of adjust the leaf until it's just right and you want to glue it into place. And then you just want to place it back on the container. If it's right, add hot glue to the back and permanently adhere it to the front of the container. And here are all of our containers completed. Now I just added a bit of greenery and some lemons in the middle and these are ready for display. Now from napkins and utensils to craft supplies and bath supplies, there are so many uses for these containers. Now I had so much fun working on these easy lemon DIYs. You guys have to let me know in the comments which one was your favorite today. Listen, if you love DIYs on a budget, give this video a thumbs up and share this video with your friends. Make sure you're following She So Craft DEE on Facebook for the latest new sneak peeks and giveaways. Thank you so much for visiting and checking out my tutorial today. If you like videos like these and you don't want to miss the next one, make sure you're subscribed by clicking that subscribe button below and turning on that notification bell. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you all next time.